All right, what do we got? This is the... So it's already pretty cool that this build is sponsored by Sapphire and AMD, but it's even cooler that they let me pick out which GPU I wanted. And I went with the 290X because it's wicked fast while balancing power consumption. And this means that I can use a physically small power supply, which gives me more design freedom in the sculpture. If there's one downside to the 290X, it would be the noise, but luckily Sapphire has several cooling solutions to choose from. I went with the Tri-X card. And by the size of the heat pipes and sheer surface area of the fins, I expect it to be whisper quiet. I'm going to be changing a couple things up, just just the color really, um, to kind of more fit in the style of my my theme. But man, gorgeous card. So when I was designing this build in the computer, in my head I was envisioning the aluminum parts being bead blasted and then anodized. Leave it there and go yeah. anodize it myself, I will, yeah. but yeah. you guys definitely can sample yeah. it. Yeah. Well I know that, hell man, it, it, you want to anodize, you know what, I mean it got all kind of anodized looks. Yeah. You know, and unless you just want anodized. I'm a huge fan of powder coating. It's the process where you electrostatically charge little particles of plastic which then adhere to your metal parts after grounding them. And then you just bake it on. So it's like a plastic enamel, but you can make it look like anything. I'm still going to have them bead blasted, but I think I'm going to do a satin powder coat on them instead. This will kind of give it a nice clear but soft finish while still having the kind of elemental nature of the aluminum. I've taken many computer parts to IPC powder coating before because the guys there are just great. Mike and Chris understand the critical nature of my work and they will not settle for anything less than show quality. As modders, we want everything to be color coordinated but we shouldn't really purchase hardware based on colors alone, especially when we can just modify that ourselves. So I'm gonna get started modifying this Sapphire card. Right now it already looks pretty cool. It's a pearl yellow and black, and this could fit in with a lot of different color builds, but it's not gonna work for mine. I started by taking it apart, and I gotta say I was pretty impressed because this thing was put together entirely with screws. There weren't any little plastic clips that break off during this assembly. This was great because I was able to easily get it apart for painting. I want a clear, natural looking aluminum, so I need to strip the black dye. To do this, I'm going to use an industrial strength cleaner called Grease Lightning. I've used this stuff before to remove dye from some of my tools just for fun, but since I don't have time to do a lot of scrubbing, I'm going to leave my parts in there a little longer than I usually do. Hopefully when I come back to the parts, all the dye will be removed by itself. While those parts are stripping, I'm going to work on the fans. I don't really want them to be this black color that they were before. I want them to have a silvery hammer tone finish to kind of fit in with the rest of the build. Now if I just spray them right away, it's going to look pretty bad and it might peel and chip. So I'm actually going to have to sand it for a bit first, scuff up the surface, use a primer, and then finally finish up with my hammer tone spray. I usually modify power supplies quite a bit to integrate them in the build, but for this reason, and don't ask me why, I actually kind of want it to look like a power supply. It's still kind of boring though, and I need to integrate it into the mod, so I'm going to paint it and add a little grill to it. I started by hacking the old punch out for the fan guard first with a Dremel. Then I used a file to clean up the edges. I have a really ugly fan grill that's 80 millimeters, and again, I, I don't know why I have this laying around. It's exactly what I need to make the power supply look like a power supply, but not be as boring as it is. Drilling the acrylic was very difficult, 
for multiple reasons. Firstly, I was just stressed out over the piece because if that piece cracks, I we're done. And <laughs> that's the end of the mod. Marvel Mystery Oil. And acrylic is extremely, especially the stuff I'm working with, that cell cast acrylic, it's extremely, extremely hard. And you can go through drill bits like no other. And even with my cobalt drill bits, I had to take it real slow and use lots of lubricant. And if I didn't, it would end up burning the acrylic and it would make these little swirl marks in it and it'd be white and it would, it would just not look good and I could damage the piece permanently. And I wanted to have it be clear and, and smooth like glass on the inside of my drill bit, kind of like magnifying the bolt when it goes in. Because it's a main feature of the, the chassis is that back part. So lots of oil, kept it cool, kept the bit, bit sharp, and kept the acrylic from cracking. 19 hours. It took 19 hours for the CNC to cut out that bevel. It's a lot of cutting time for that very subtle part. And it took me probably nine hours to set the CNC machine up. It was worth it in the end though. It, it, it really it takes a completely different life than just a flat board. I mean, a flat board, you know, you cut it out and it's boring. It's just a board it can just do with a router. But with that bevel, it really makes the piece.